Now, Shaw Taylor, the creator and presenter of Police 5 for many years on this channel, has died at the age of 90. The crime-fighting mini-program began in 1962 in London, but it quickly expanded to the southeast and also to here in the Midlands. Well, Andy Bevan has been looking back at his career and he joins us now. Uh, Andy, best known for Police 5, of course, but uh, Shaw Taylor had been on screen long before that, hadn't he? Yes, indeed he had. Uh, he was a rather trained actor and he appeared in many TV plays and films. And he was uh, one of ATV's first announcers back in 1957 when the channel first started. Um, before that, he was uh, an RAF operator, radio operator during the Second World War, and he helped to drive the Japanese out of Burma. After his time in the forces, he studied drama and won parts in productions like Sunday Night Theatre and British films like X the Unknown. And then there was his stint as a game show host on ATV's Pencil and Paper. If anybody else on the other side of the channel is receiving pencil and paper on their television sets, well, please do write in and let us know because we'd like to hear from you. Well, he was there at the start of ATV and he was there on the 31st of December 1981 when ATV became central, signing off with announcer Mike Prince. Today, he and fellow presenter Bob Hall reminisced about those days. Always debonair, always very smartly dressed, um, you'd see him sometimes if you went into the, the washroom, maybe in front of the mirror, adjusting the cravat all the time before he went out. I just said, you know, as you would have a curiosity, I said, anybody at RADA with you that, that I would know? John Collins? Do you need another name? <laughs> <laughs> but from the early 1960s to the mid-1990s, Shaw Taylor was the face of Police 5. It was originally commissioned to fill a gap in the programme schedules and was only supposed to run for a couple of weeks. But Shaw's unique way of coming across almost as a real investigator was a hit with the viewers and it got results for the boys in blue. The man came out of the box, followed the cashier down here, suddenly tapped him on the shoulder and as the cashier turned, he got the contents of a squeezy bottle straight in the face. And, of course, his weekly sign-off became one of the most well-known in the country. So I will keep peel. <laughs> Keep <and> peel. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, Andy, he was certainly a one-off. And I know both you and Bob worked with him. Um, what was he like as a, as a colleague? Well, I worked with Shaw in the 1980s, and I was a rookie film editor then. And uh, back in those days, the sound for the film was recorded directly onto the film. It was quite a hard thing to do, but Shaw Taylor would go out get the cameraman to set up his first shot, the camera would roll, Shaw would say his sentence directly onto the film, then they'd stop. The cameraman would then position for the second shot and roll again, and Shaw would pick up in the middle of the sentence, and as, as an editor, when you came to put it all together, it was an absolute doddle because he'd already done it. He was an <laughs> absolute professional. Yeah, bet, bet some of the editors wish we'd do that now, actually. <laughs> uh, and Bobby had some wise words of wisdom for you, didn't he, well, when you started? It, indeed, it, it took me under his wing for a very short time, and uh, he, uh, he said, um, whatever you do, don't have a desk of your own. I said, why, Shaw? And he said, well, they'll always know if you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great sense oh, of humour. Yeah. Andy, thank you very much. Now, just moving on. A group of injured servicemen.